second is why don't we print photographs anymore because that's given me so much enjoyment in uh, the photos you've seen me put up on the wall today are from my Scotland's Less Obvious series, Tour of Scotland, took a lot of photos. We just leave them on phones and we flick through and we, uh, we flick away and maybe have a look at them in iPad and whatever else. And, but, you know, that was so nice just to get something tangible at the end of it all and to frame it, stick it on the wall. I love those pictures, but that's not what we're about. This video is about head to head. And it's two of, I reckon they're going to be on a lot of people's shopping lists. I mean, arguably, a lot of people have ordered these and are waiting for them because I know there's issues with stock right now. We've got the JPX921 Forged and we've got the P770 from TaylorMade. Differences are, one is hollow bodied with some speed foam magic inside, it's forged to a degree. And then we've got the forged head that of the um, 921. The question is, if you're considering both these irons, what I want to try and do from today's video is find out and highlight what are the differences and why you might choose one over the other. Now looks is down to the individual, but for me they're both really good looking irons. They've both got a lot of sort of shiny chrome and that matte finish as well, fairly minimal in the marking. So for me, they tick boxes. The difference is, and the people who are going to be choosing to play these irons, I would say P770 is what Taylor may describe as a player's iron, so it's probably aimed towards a slightly better player, and a slightly better player is maybe looking for that more compact head. So in that sense, at address, top line is very, very similar, but there's a little bit of mass that you see on the JPX that might be off-putting to some, and I say mass, that little bit of that bottom end there starts to creep in at address to make it look a little bit bulkier. Now for some, that's a positive because it gives that bit more confidence and for others, they want that slimline profile. So already, there's a difference at address between these two clubs. That's a super ball with a 921. What I'm going to do, I'm going to switch up. I've got a lot of balls. I'm going to switch up straight from hitting a 921 straight into the P770. The reason I want to do that is I want to talk about feel. I don't know how that door, ball's done. They've, I ain't going to give many secrets away. A performance is literally you were splitting airs. But I'm going to hit straight away after hitting what was a decent ball with a 921. Right, that's a more solid ball and a more fairer uh, comparison. And the difference is huge, in my opinion. I want to look at the numbers because the data is incredible what was produced from these two irons. The data is in front of you now, and what we're going to do first of all is bear in mind, some of you will have seen this on a video that I produced earlier than this. There's two degrees difference in terms of loft between these two seven irons. So one is at 33, one is at 31. The P770 being the weaker lofted. Those numbers are pretty much identical in every aspect. So look through every column, take a bit of time, pause this video, analyze that data if that's what sort of floats your boat. But you will see there is very little that separates them. Now I said at the beginning of this video, the idea for me when doing a head to head is to identify the differences. And for me, there is only one major difference between the two. And that is the sound and the feel. Now to a lot of people, I should say at this point, as a, and it should go on every video, on every review you see at golf clubs, is a disclaimer that basically says that this is how I view this product. This is the performance based on my swing characteristics, and this is what I hear and sound. But that might be totally different to what you do. So please, the guides only, and go out there and test yourself is the ultimate uh, message from these videos. But anyway, for me, massive difference. The P790, P770, they're a hollow body construction. Yes, they say they're forged, but we know that's not the same as the 921 grain forged iron. Nothing feels like a Mizuno. And in this case, it's really notable when you put them side by side and when you hit them one and then the other continuously, you do notice that. Now, for a lot of golfers, sound and feel is not a major thing, so it would not sway a buying decision, but for me it is. Um, it's a lot softer, it's a lot more muted. Um, having said that, when I test the P770 on their own in, then and isolated away from a, a pure forged head, they feel perfectly fine. So it's only, you know, these are, these are real, you're spending a lot of money, so for me, I'd have to get all these things right. So the sound and feel out of the Mizuno ticks the box. 
The one thing I say the 770's got in uh, over and above the um, the JPX is the, the sort of profile is a little bit more uh, compact, so that will appeal to others as well. And it probably does to me, just the overall look of the club in aesthetically is better on the P770. As you've seen, data, nothing to split them whatsoever. So it really is a case of these are just two very, very good irons. And I think the point is, if you're considering buying irons, then these are two you've got to put in the mix. I wouldn't be swayed by the fact that a P770 or indeed this is classed as perhaps, you know, this kind of player's profile. I think these are plenty easy enough to hit for a large majority of golfers. So don't be swayed by that either. The thing is just go out and test them yourself and uh, I think that irons of the irons right now I mean again you must get bored of watching reviews where there's so much positivity and like I said you're splitting airs in terms of what is uh, better than the other there's so many good products out there at the moment the irons are fantastic and uh, whichever you choose whichever you went down these routes I don't think you'd be disappointed either way um, as ever, thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for putting up with that little bit at the beginning. The idea is why well, I'm trying to show you around the office as it evolves. We're trying to create somewhere that's uh, a nice place to work, that's uh, nice and helpful towards creativity, and we've got a nice setup here now. And um, well, the pictures along the way just uh, are a reminder of uh, right now, especially when you know the, all these lockdown situations are going on, that uh, there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Them golf courses aren't going anywhere and uh, they'll be waiting for us uh, when all this starts to lift and some normality returns. Anyway, that's probably the most important bit at the minute is uh, everybody sort of uh, take care, keep, um, yeah, just keep sane and whatever it is that takes to do that then, yeah, just be careful out there. Anyway, that's the review done, the head-to-head -head done. Take it with a pinch of salt, quite honestly. Like I said, go out there and test yourself is always the ultimate message. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. I'm gonna drill a few more holes, I think.